to get results out of the meditation, you have to want to do it. So desire does have an important role on the path. You can get people to sit down and close their eyes, but you can't make them meditate. And even when you do want, you like the idea of meditating, when you actually get down to it, you have to continue to want to do it well. In other words, pay really close attention to what you're doing. And try to get really good at reading the needs of the body, reading the needs of the mind, so you can provide for them right away. Not waste your time thinking about this, that, and the other thing. This is one of the reasons why short meditation sessions like this are good. You realize you don't have much time, so you've got to get to work. The longer ones you've got to watch out for. You say, I've got a whole hour here, so I'll think about this and that for how many minutes? And then finally settle down. And all too often you settle down just before the session ends. So it's good to have short meditation breaks where you know, I've only got five minutes or so, so I've really got to do this well all the way through, right from the very beginning. And it shows you that you can get the mind to settle down really quickly, if you're determined enough and you're sensitive enough. So try to develop that quality here while you're meditating in short periods, and then try to bring it into your longer periods as well. So you're combining the desire and then your persistence, being really intent on what you're doing, and having some quick intelligence in figuring out what needs to be done and using your ingenuity to figure out ways of sidestepping problems. All these qualities are called bases of success. There is such a thing as good meditation. If you bring these bases of success to it, then the meditation becomes a skill. You're not just going through the motions, you're actually doing it well. And that's when you begin to really appreciate how great these teachings are. The Buddha left us amazing dharma. As you said, it's a real miracle of a teaching that when you put it into practice gets the promised results. But it means you really do have to put it into practice. You are testing yourself at the same time that you're testing the teaching. So if you give it your all, it'll give you lots back.